97. My name is Megan Wright. This is the new at two. DJ Enough is in the booth. And I have one of my favorite people in the building right now. And I don't just say it like sometimes I feel like I start off like that, but this time I'm being absolutely 100% Straight serious. OMB PZ in the building. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I have to say that I'm really happy to see you here for multiple reasons. Um, one, you're one of my favorite new artists. I feel like you don't get enough credit. To see you in New York right now, to me, is amazing. Well, because the last time I saw you, you just got shot. <laughs> it's not It's not funny. <laughs> it's not... But so, it's not funny. I got to lay it in another... It wasn't funny then, but it's funny now. Yeah. That shit hurt. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, like, um... I, I think about... Think about it a lot. I know you obviously think about it a lot, but, you know, it seems like since then... I don't want to go into too much detail about, like, what happened. But since then, I feel like I've seen this is happening. A lot of artists, things are happening in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously, with Nipsey, such a sad, tragic situation. Somebody had told me it was a uh, killer real nigga season, and I made it at. <laughs> oh, it, I made it at, no cap. Do you ever... What was some advice that you got from some OGs after that situation happened? And who who was it? Who reached out or said something to you that may have made you change some things or shift some things or I ain't gonna lie, a lot of people said a lot of people said a lot of shit, but I, I ain't gonna lie, I'm so stuck on my ways though. Like uh with T I for the you know, of course for the said something to him. Like they were like, I gotta move different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I ain't gonna lie. I can't get myself to just be like, oh, I'm not finna go fuck with the people, you feel me? Like I gotta like, show my face, I got to, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I can't really move different, like, on that, on that part. But as far as watching my surroundings more, though, I got to do that. I get nervous. <laughs> I get nervous. You know, I ain't worried about nothing but God coming back. I understand. I understand. I just, you know, I get, I get nervous. And I want to <laughs> see you do well. I want to see you succeed. And I just want to make sure you're okay and you're safe. And you're here in the seat, and you're in New York City, and I know so, you had a show last night. I wasn't here. I'm upset. You had a show last night in the city. How was it? What, it was what fun. Happened? I ain't gonna lie. It was fun. You know that what that was like my second time at SOB. I think mm -hmm. I was at the other one though, like my first time. Does that's the only? It may have been a different venue. Would it look it different inside? Like some down still, like underground type. Okay, shit. all right. But they, I guess they shut that one down then, like a minute ago. Yeah, yeah, but it was fun though. I like New York now. What do you think is your one of your biggest struggles as a as a breaking through from the South and being into because it's it's interesting. You're signed to E forty. So how did first how did that happen? Because from Mobile, I think we're cousins. My family's from Mobile. <laughs> I think so. we're probably cousins. But, but how did the E forty connection happen? I had moved to California when I was twelve with mm -hmm. my mom. And then I was rapping and shit. So when I had hit like um uh, until like 18, I had dropped a song called Lay Down. And then he had heard it. Right. And then we got to chopping it up for a little minute. Then we went into the little partnership. Because it's an, it's an interesting collab. Yeah, I yeah. like it, but it's definitely interesting. You'd be like, how the fuck? How you from Alabama? And then you yeah. hook up with for the type shit. Yeah. It's cool, though. So as you're moving around, what do you think is the biggest challenge that you have, you know, as a artists from the South, you know how people like to, I don't know why people still like to put a stigma behind different, you know, artists, because yeah. we have Outkast, you know, we have T.I., you have very lyrical, you know, J. Electronica, like, lyrical people, and then you have artists who are making moves, but it still sometimes seems like, you know, it's a little harder for artists from the South to kind of, like, you know, yeah. break, especially up here, so. I just gotta, I feel like I just gotta, uh, Get people to really understand me and understand mm -hmm. where I be coming from. You feel me? Right. That's why when I be performing, like I really be staring at people, like yeah. looking at them in their face. Actually, yeah. I don't want them to think I'm just rapping. Like you feel me? I mean this type shit. You feel me? Yeah. So I think just the hardest part is making people like understand where I'm coming from. I feel like if people don't understand the music, they ain't gonna mm -hmm. fuck with it. Like you gotta really understand. Yeah. Music, you feel me? Speaking of music, we did a mixtape together. Yeah. Um, you can still check it out on Audio Max. Shameless plug. I'm the um, pimp. And there's one, you know, track that you did in particular for me uh, when you rapped over Jay-Z's Ignorant Shit beat. Mm -hmm. And I remember I sent it and I was like, this is going to be so 
something. <laughs> and then you send it back. And I think that that in itself showed a lot. It showed a lot of your versatility also. You yeah. know, it's like you don't have to be pigeonholed and just doing one thing yeah. or just being on one type of, of song. You're capable of being on anything. On me. anything. So what what can we look forward to as far as music with you? What's going on with you? I'm trying to, I ain't gonna lie, I want to expand my horizons for real. Mm-hmm. Cause if, I don't want people just look at me like, oh, yeah, he's just a little, you know what I'm saying, thug or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I want to work with some, I want to be on my old do town road shit. Do you think, oh, your old town road shit? <laughs> okay. Do you think you get that, that, that stigma? I mean, we. Yeah, I feel like yeah. I get, I feel like I get that. Until people sit down and actually have a conversation right. with me, you feel me? Like, right. if you sit down and have a conversation with me, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, he ain't just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I feel like for the people who just on the outside looking in, they be like, mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Do you think any of that has to do with some of the imaging and stuff in videos and things like that? Yeah, yeah. you do, but... Because yeah. I ain't going to lie, because yeah. people be like, bro, I didn't think you were going to be that cool. Because I don't smile in my I don't smile I thought you were going to be short. No, no. I be telling Ken that. You look really short on Instagram. Everybody be like, and you're like, not. You're like 6'2". So not, not that that has anything to do with your personality, but you look really short. You're not short. You're like 6'2". Um, but I think I think the imaging that could have something to do with, yeah. you know, it taking a little bit. But you said you want to remain true to yourself. So I think we can find a way to balance the yeah. imaging in the old town. No, I, did not, I did not start getting my hair done and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Get lined up shit. I ain't care about this shit. Any artists that you want to work for, work with? Is that is that what's what what oh, the angle like with... anybody in particular? You're oh. in New York, so there's gonna be people hearing this. Is there anybody that you're like, yo, if I want to put it out there, and I want to I want to work with them, I want to get in the no, studio I don't with really them. Be caring about rappers and shit, you feel uh-huh. me? But uh, like Kings of Leon type shit. Okay, I fuck with them. Man. All right, boys, hard. I fuck with uh, NF too. Okay, you heard NF before? No, I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, do you know ahead. you know who I saw? I was listening. Do you watch? I was watching Big Little Lies. You probably don't watch that show. Mm-mm. Okay, it's a great show. But the opening song, I Shazammed it. I cannot pronounce his last name. His name is Michael Kiwanuka. He's on Polydor Interscope. He does the, you have to listen to this record. Like, he's amazing. He's somebody he that I could see you doing like a soulful S type song. Yeah. So I'm here for yeah. that. So you want to change kind of in that, in that type of. Yeah, fuck with a Sam Smith or something. All right. I'm here for that. That'd be gangster. I'm here for the growth of O and B Peasy. Yeah, for, you know, support you. Whatever you want to do, just want to make sure you're good, make sure you're safe, make sure the team is safe, and then you know that's all. That's all we could hope for. Appreciate I feel like it. I'm always like crashing what you're doing. You got oh. me like, and we Mardi Gras. We're in the, with Boosie. <laughs> Yo, Boosie. When I was like. 14, 13, 14, my cousin used to, like, sneak me into, like, booty, boosie parties and stuff like that. Good. Yeah. And so that's, I, like, learned about boosie, like, really early on. And I would come home, come back up north, and everybody would be like, who's Ooh, little boosie? boosie? Yeah, who's little boosie? Um, how did you guys, like, oh. because you're not signed to him, but. It, like, you know, I grew up out boosie. Right. Then, and then, like, you know what I'm saying, when I had signed to E4, that put me in a lot of people's face that I was supposed to be in type shit. So right. he ended up hearing my music type shit. Right. But I had, uh, Ken had started uh, talking to people shouting on me, feel me? Uh-huh. And then shout at people Boost and then just linked us together. And that about it. Boost is great. Boosie Legend. Cool nigga, Legend. Nigga Legend. Too. I'm here for another. I know you got one record with, with, with Boosie out. Um, I'm here for any more. Gotta do another one. You gotta do another one. So. I'm here for it. You think we should do some gangster shit or like some soulful <sighs> shit? Gangster shit, huh? So, see, I'm at a, I'm at a here with you. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like, you, you, you're trying to find a balance between making certain changes, but also keeping to who you are and exactly. for what your fans know. You but I also feel like your life is important, exactly. so I want you to make. You know, I want to. You know, I can't worry. No, I ain't going. Ken's my man. favorite. You have, you know, you have the best manager ever. They're he's the most. People. He's the easiest yeah. person to deal with. Yeah, literally, he's one of the easiest managers, artist managers. That I have ever, I have ever, I've ever worked me, with. Yeah, me out a lot too. Yeah. Me. Shout out to Ken. Everybody clap for Ken. <laughs> Make some noise for Ken. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? New artists <laughs> that I should keep an eye out on. New I know artists. some of you, yeah, some somebody in particular who's in, who's in the, the, the studio played me some of his joints in the, the car. Little, 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 little
We got Trish Ronald Poodle from uh from Mobile. Uh huh. I ain't gonna lie, no Kelvin Rallo from Mobile. Uh-huh. That nigga too hard. I no you introduced me to him. Yeah. That whole he's got a record that I really love, and I hope they can figure out how to get cleared and, and stuff like that to put it out because that that record that he has is is, is fire. So lie, I like him I'm, too. Hey, fire. Mobile doing some good shit yeah. right now. Hometown. So we'll keep an eye out for all of that. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for having me. You still on tour? Yeah. Where are you going next? We in Atlanta, Nick. All right. Be safe in the A, okay? No, be safe. Be safe. Be safe.